Mission's target is to encourage the innovation through science among the young generation as they are the nation's future. Before we start, I would like to welcome our today's chief guest. She is none other than Dr. Savi Behel, Principal, Government Degree College for Women, Kathua. Her contribution towards the improvement of college and the society is appreciable. I thank her for providing her gracious presence to join us today. Now it's my honor to welcome our special guest, Mrs. Kachita Assistant Professor, Government Degree College, Katua. I am very thankful to you that you shared your time and accepted our invitation. I also welcome our another special guest, Mrs. Satyadik Sharma, Master Government High School in the country. Her hard work for the welfare of the students and the society is remarkable. Now I welcome Mrs. Manisha Gupta, Director, Tiny Scholars in Kadua, which has supported and provided every event become successful. I also welcome our principal ma'am, Mrs. Rina Kajuria. Positive attitude gives us more confidence to do well. I welcome all the teachers and the students who work tirelessly for this science exhibition. We could not have pulled this exhibition off without the continuous cooperation and working of the students. I also welcome our sir, Mr. Hussain Gari Hussain sir, and I thank him for his continuous support for the Titan Scholar School. Harvesting is the simplest process or technology that are used to conserve rain water by storing uh, and purifying of rain water. Why do we harvest rain water? This is of mainly four parts. They are of kidneys, ureter, granary bladder, and urethra. Urinary system comes into play for the disposal of liquid waste. As we all know, that our body keeps remaining a lot of hazardous and unwanted waste. These all waste products which we circulate in our blood. Our body gets rid of this waste through the urinary system. So how does it work? The urinary system starts in our kidney. These are the bean shaped organs which is located in the upper abdominal area against the back muscle on both left and right side of our body. This acts like a filter device of our body. When the blood passes through the kidney, the nephron present inside the nephron inside the kidney filter the blood and separate the waste compounds. The filtered blood passes through the kidney to other parts and the waste compounds waste compounds combine with the excess water to make urine. After this, the urine is pumped down through the couple of uh, tubes called the ureter, leading to the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder is a functional organ that contains the urine before our body is ready to get rid of it. Then the urinary bladder con contacts and push the urine to the urethra. Then the, uh, then the urine is get out of the body through the urethra. So this is the process of urinary system. Now we are going to show you the working model of this. Hydrogen. So, the natural phenomenon takes time. The system 
uh, we uh, did this irrigation. Uh, first of all, we report this the light from solar panel. Uh, And the other one is solar power irrigation system. Uh, when the rain falls, a smart city is a city which protects, connects, and makes the life of the people easier. So, by IoT sensors, communication, and social media, a smart city makes the life of the people easier. And uh, it is one of the most powerful applications of IoT. By IoT, I meant. Internet of things. So, why do we need a smart city? Because we are calling it. Very big. Very big. At the point, 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 we try to show water pollution. Our model is based on water pollution. How water is contaminated and caused over the Very good. members present here. First of all, I'd like to thank the director of the school, Mrs. Manisha Gupta, for inviting me to see or visit your science exhibition. Uh, it's always a wonder seeing your bright minds like yours put to work and into creating something so beautiful and innovative. It, give me, it gives me immense pleasure to see all these amazing models which you all have created. Science, it keeps on changing, it keeps on advancing and I can see that all of you have done a great job at keeping up with it. The models, the working models which you have created are excellent at illustrating various scientific experiments and equipments. It's really good to see the dedication you have put in towards contributing for the exhibition. Science is very interesting field and I request all of you not to give up your passion for this. I wish all, you, all of you the very best in your life and keep creating and keep innovating. Thank you.
Greetings to everyone. So today we are in the Tiny Scholar School Katwa organized a science exhibition which was meticulously uh, articulated in a, such a extraordinary manner. All the working models are there. So the students are do, uh, did very well, exact, ordinary performance in their models performance while uh, performing their models. They do extra uh, their uh, put their efforts and and thank you everyone and thank you all the participants for uh, elaborating in such a nice way the science actually there was a 20 on 28th of february uh, there was the international science day on this occasion on this eve of occasion we are going to celebrate this uh, science exhibition and i hope my all the students and my all the uh, participants have the very enthusiastically participated and they have to put for this uh, education these uh, advice the medical uh, in the um, in these type of models and uh, i always uh, put a best wishes to every participants sources हैं जो हमारे यहाँ पे दिनों दिन तो हम इनको कैसे capture करें so that the, हमारी जो next generation है वो इसका अच्छे से फायदा ले सके क्योंकि आप देख रहे हैं दिनों में इतने जैसे जो uh, non renewable sources होते हैं वो इस तरह से use हो रहे हैं कि we are not able to capture in such a manner that we have to save a life of the next generation so it's a very difficult part of the environmental and so much the harmful gases are elaborated in a such a way that made the cause the global warming and if the global warming cost in a first attempt you can imagine that the life of the simple the human nature is going to the damaged nature da in the danger way so for the protection all these things and we convey the message to all the citizen that please uh, save water and also use this type of thermal energy so that the no many eruption gases are uh, produced and we can save our life we save our next generation too